How about them goddamn birds, baby, huh? What a damn win right there, man. I'm telling you, that was a hell of a damn performance. Overall, the whole team. Defensively, offensively, whatever you want to say. I will say this. Going into this game, I was a little like, damn, you know, man, this is a good test for this secondary now. They're going against two, two elite wide receivers. You know, Sean McVay, an elite, you know, offensive play caller or head coach. Uh, um, Kyron Williams, and I'm like, okay, you got him in the running backfield. You know, it's a lot for the defense to handle, and the defense did it, man. The defense balled out, did what they had to do. Really, there was two touchdowns in this game that should have never happened. It was the third, third down and 16, and the refs call pass interference. It was never pass interference. They call it, that puts them right first and goal, and boom, they get a touchdown. Same thing, it was P.I. on Darius Slay. It was, not Dar- it was on third down as well. It was not Darius Slay. It was not P.I., sorry. This game should have been blowout, blowout. It was 37-20. I'll take it. Love it. Offensively, I love that we finally find our identity. Like I've been saying, running the damn ball, doing what we got to do, and that opens up the pass. Hurts throws a little bit here, throws a little bit there, does her thing. Da, 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 da. No Devontae Smith. No Devontae. Still balling. A.J. Brown, touchdown. Did great. Blah, blah, blah. You get the deal. But this man, Saquon Barkley, man, when I tell you, this guy is incredible. I mean, yeah, I've lived through uh, Brian Westbrook, and I've lived through LaShawn McCoy, and they're great backs. They're really good backs. And I know Barkley was special. I knew it all the way back when he was at Penn State. I knew when he joined the Giants. He's been a, one of my favorite players, and it sucks because he played for the Giants. I said, damn, I hate the roof of the Giants, but I do like Barkley. So I would like to see him hit a couple splash plays here and there. But to see him come here, and to finally, for the first time in his career, or maybe in his whole entire Football life, playing football, have this elite of an of an offensive line, elite receivers on the outsides, and a very good quarterback, top quarterback playing for him. He went to the Giants and it was okay. Here's Eli near the end. Then we give you Daniel Jones, but no weapons on the outside or O line was banged up. This is like the complete thing. And we said this when the season began. If he stays healthy, he does his thing. With Uncle Wood, I hope he just keeps staying healthy. This man will have an impact on the Eagles like Christian McCaffrey had on the 49ers. And some people said, oh, man. look at it. This man had 302 yards of total damn offense, 255 yards rushing. I think it was around 40-something receiving, whatever it was, and two touchdowns. Dude was incredible. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I mean, yeah, there was a couple good plays here and there. But coming right out the half and running that ball and the first play breaking it 70-something yards, boom. I mean, he hit that hole, found another hole, was took his time, and then bam, hit it, and he was gone. Big play, out of here. I said, damn. This man is the best back in the NFL, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you could say Derrick Henry's guy, that's cool and all, and I agree, I, I like them guys as well, but this man is insane, bro. And then later on, the fourth quarter, five minutes left, I'm thinking, oh, we're just going to run the ball. They keep stopping him. He only gets like six yards or five yards. All right, cool, cool, just keep moving the chains. Let's run the clock out. Bam! A crease opens. Another 72-yarder. I've never seen anything like this. And like I said, I we had the Melo Sean McCoys and the this, and that. This man is a in beast, bro. And I think he's league MVP. I mean, hey, there's still a lot of football to be played. There's still a lot to go on. Some are saying it's the first time ever that a team has two league front runners for MVP, meaning Jalen Hurts and Barkley. And then on the other side, the Ravens are saying Lamar or Derrick Henry. It's crazy right now. But Barkley... This is how I tell you he's MVP. You can say Hurts too cool. In your honest opinion, where do you think we would be without if we didn't sign Saquon Barkley? Granted, if we signed Derrick Henry, okay, cool. We'll probably be like in like have this good of a record, probably, yeah. But say we didn't sign any of those running backs, especially not Barkley, and say we just stuck with Swift or no respect to him, but or like someone like that, or stuck with just Gainwell and drafted some young guy, where would we be right now? I don't think we would have this record. I don't think we'd be this good. I really do not think we would. Hell, we were 2-2 two and two at one point. Everyone's sitting back saying, man, fire Sirianni, season's over, F this, F that. And then right after the bye week, hit flipped like a switch. That, the defense, everything switched. And I'm happy it did. And some can still sit there and go, oh, we should be 10-1. Barkley dropped the ball against the Falcons, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear none of that shit. This team is good, man. They are. They have to stay healthy, though. That's the big thing. Hopefully we all stay healthy. But speaking of staying healthy, that's the one sad thing out of this whole thing. Is it's kind of bittersweet that we win this game. 
and we lose Brandon Graham for the season. That really hurts. I mean, it's supposedly being his last year anyway, and I don't think it is. I think he was going to come back next year for one more season because he was playing so well at such a high level and doing so good in this de- in this defense. And for him to come out of the game and say, yeah, my season's over, to my, what was it, tricep or yeah, bicep? That sucked. That really hurt. Especially today, he had such a really good impact in this game. And we already lost um, Bryce Huff. You already lost him because uh, he's out and getting a wrist surgery. But he had, he hasn't really done anything. But this O line, this D line in general, has already been like guys who there's no really star guys on this line besides Jalen Carter, who's just a second year player. They don't have no big names. They just got guys who have fifth round guy, fifth round rookies, sixth round second round, uh, sorry, sixth round second year players and shit on the line. They're doing good. They're doing really good. But now you lose BG, so you're really thin at DN. They gotta go out. They gotta make. We gotta make some. We can't make trade. Trade deadline's over. They gotta f- go. Maybe pick up a JPP and. There's some other people out there there's talks about. Maybe Justin uh, Houston. There's a couple other dudes who, j- just to have the depth, you need it. Because this, this, is, this is not good, man. This is, this is uh, really bad with losing Brandon Graham. And how good this defense has been looking. To be this far in the season, this to happen really sucks. Um, but hopefully we figure it out. And as the day's going, we figure something out. But overall, just a great team win, man. Really, really like... We look at that Washington game and say, man, that was really good, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, NFC East opponent, blah, 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 division opponent, this is good, we beat, this was all, this was really good. Go to LA, beat them 37 to 20, it should have been more than that, really. Refs really, like I said, gave them two touchdowns, you know what I mean? Um, Quinton Mitchell again, great game. Cooper DeGene is a beast, man. Just to prove you how good this Quinton Mitchell is. You notice how they never attack really attack that side of the field. They went after Darius Slay. Darius Slay, I'm talking about a guy who is an all all pro, pro bowl guy, who if he did string up more a couple more years of this and maybe won a Super Bowl, he could be a talk about for a Hall of Fame. Not first ballot, but that's how good of a player I'm trying to explain to you he is. They were t- attacking him before they would even question or think about attacking Quinn on Mitchell's side of the field. That should tell you how good this this uh, Quinn on Mitchell kid is, man. And then Cooper DeGene, when he wasn't on plays, he broke up a good pass against Coop, uh, Cooper uh, <laughs> Cooper Cup to hold him from not getting a first down and many other plays. This was very good performance. And now we're on to Baltimore, man. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a big-time game. I'm surprised it's probably going to get flexed to 8 o'clock. It's something. Something they're going to do something. They have to because this is a big deal game. This is the this is, this is is the four runner-ups for MVP and Josh Allen. Throw him in there, too. And maybe Mahomes if you want to. But really, it's these four and Josh Allen. It's Lamar, Derrick Henry, Jalen Hurts, Barkley. This is like the big deal matchup. I feel it might be a shootout game. We'll get down to that when it happens. But let's go Burns, Fire, Fire. Let's enjoy this. Let's just relax. I'm still grateful as of right now. I'm very, very grateful that Saquon Barkley is a Philadelphia Eagle. Like, I really cannot believe this. I still can't believe it. And it's better than what I even expected it would be with him here. The guy is is amazing. He's phenomenal. He's that guy. He's a piece. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go, Burris. Fox Flight. Comment below on your thoughts. Cheers. I'm out of here. Nine and two, man. Nine and two. And let, the, let it keep rolling. Let it keep moving. We got to keep it going. That's it. Go, Birds. Peace out. We on to Baltimore. Big game. Heavyweight matchup. Let's go, Birds.